Hey guys, Anthony Hazelwood here with another vlog type thing for you guys. Just going to spit some things out about the presidential election and the debates that have been going on. But before I do that, a couple shout outs before I get into what I'm doing for today. First and foremost, Miss Ludwig, I wanted to apologize for getting your name wrong in my last video. I called you Ludwig, but your last name is Ludwig. And just wanted to apologize for that and let you know you're still amazing for commenting, liking, and helping to grow the community of up to no gooders that we have started thus far so much love to you then i wanted to talk to my daughter for a second because hopefully someday she comes back and watches this i love you miss aubrey marianne hazelwood and i just wanted to let you know that if i do not mention you in at least every third video i am definitely a bad father for that because i have a gift here to broadcast to people <laughs> anyways um let's talk about the presidential election here I don't like either candidate. I'm just going to start off by saying that. A lot of people may not agree with me. Some people are like Obama and some people are like Mitt Romney. I could care less for both of these guys. But they always say you've got to vote for the lesser of two evils when you vote. Wrong. Not true. There are more people running for president than just Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. So with that, I wanted to say this year, Mickey Mouse, 2012, Vice President, yours truly, Anthony Hunt Hazelwood III. I'm not a tool, so I'd be a great candidate. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm probably going to vote for Roseanne Barr because uh, I really feel like she's looking out for the middle class and she speaks her mind. She doesn't flip-flop like Barack Obama and Mitt Romney do. But with that, I really think that any of these guys that get in don't really stand that great of a chance until, you know, the Senate, the presidency, the House of Representatives can all get together and do one specific thing. And that specific thing, my people, is unify. I feel like the biggest problem within our government right now is the fact that there is just this going on. Bicker, bicker, bicker. You got places like Fox. You got places like uh, CNN who just talk about Democratic, Republican, and why they're right and why they're right. Who cares about that stuff? Right now, America is a weakened nation. It is a nation that is under duress. We are in a recession. These are things that bother us. These are things that burden us. Who gets affected by this? Not the politicians, but the working class, but the lower class. And maybe to a lesser extent, the upper class, who I feel like, eh, who cares about them, <laughs> right? Well, anyways, what I'm saying is for us to right this ship, we have to do what our forefathers did when they wrote our constitution over 200 years ago. We have to come together unify and understand that although we do have our differences we are part of something great we are part of something free we are a free country people died in the revolutionary war people died in wars after that for this country to make sure that it remains a free place a place where people can voice their opinion but what they did not die for is for us to crumble because we could not come together here's the resounding facts people we live in america we are american there should be some pride for that. We are in one of the greatest countries in the world. We have to unify. We have to come together. With that, guys, you may not agree with my opinion, which is cool. Let me know in the comment section below, Let, you know, whatever opinion you have. I want to know who you're voting for. And uh, with that, guys, you can also leave any ideas you have on my Facebook, Twitter, or even the space, which you will see in the comments the description bar below, sorry. <laughs> and as always, guys, my name's Anthony Hazelwood. Yo, I'm up to no good. You're amazing, and yes, I'm talking to you.